I'm Mike Tyson and I'm going undercover on the internet. This is actually me. Okay, this is tough. Twitter. Hello, Mike Tyson. Owns a weed farm. Yes, I own a weed farm. It's um, in Palm Springs, California. And it's, um, I don't know, 400 acres property. All right. Mike Tyson, Mr. Mike Tyson, set all argument for me. Would you take an uppercut to the chin? No gloves from yourself in your prime for half a billion dollars? Absolutely. Yes. Cora. Why did Mike Tyson stop boxing? Because I couldn't do it anymore. And I didn't think that it would be necessary to continue the boxing if I wasn't at my best. Why did Mike Tyson bite the band to hold his ear during the 1997 heavyweight bout? I, um, I got very frustrated and then discouraged and stuff, and he was headbutting me, and I was really mad, and I didn't know what to do, and I just exploded, and I bit his ear. And I, no, matter of fact, I bit it twice, and I'm truly sorry. INDB. High pitched Brooklyn accented voice, speaks with a noticeable lisp, iconic face tattoo, commonly mistaken as an African tribal symbol, wild behavior on and off the ring. What about that? Wikipedia. By the age of 13, I've been arrested 38 times. He ended at the Tryon School for Boys in Johnstown, New York. Tyson emerged in boxing ability discovered there by Bobby Stewart. Yeah, that was true. And Bobby Stewart was the first person to ever um, discovered any kind of talent that showed me that I had ability to do anything. I thought I was a young kid. I didn't think it was anything I was capable of doing. I didn't think I had a really uh, a purpose in this world. I didn't really care about being in this world at that time of my life. He introduced me to Custom Model, and I started going to school and started improving as a person. And boxing um, gave me the confidence to do things I never believed that I could do before. It gave me an ego, and that's probably the worst thing that ever happened with my experience with boxing that I discovered the ego. But other than that, boxing was great. YouTube. Who's this guy next to Mike in the black shade? That's my man Crocodile, Crocodile Stephen Finch. I mean, the motivational trainer, one of my trainers. He's still around, he lives in Phoenix, Arizona. All right. Why is Mike Tyson feeding his pigeons Fuji water? Well, I'm, I love my pigeons. My pigeons are right after my children. I wouldn't feed my birds anything I wouldn't eat, I drink. So I give them everything I eat and drink. What is Mike Tyson's face tattoo supposed to represent? Yes, I have a nice tattoo. Me and my friend created this, and it's a Maui, a New Zealand tribe warrior tattoo, and I thought it was pretty cool, so I had the tattoo put on my face. How would Mike Tyson do in the UFC? I don't know what I would do in the UFC, because I watched the UFC a couple of times, and I watched these guys step on people's feet, and I have the worst feet in the world, right? And if somebody stepped on my feet, I would totally tap out. I would just give up. It would be a no-brainer. Reddit. Primetime Mike versus Havana. Yes, I think Tyson would have edged him. Havana himself admits um, the Rooney Tyson was a totally different beast than the one he fought. Hey, I don't know. We all, you know, we can't take that stuff away from Havana to hold the field. He won that fight. He had the nerve to get in the ring. He had to take that chance. So regardless, I think he's a great fighter, and he deserves the claim of being a legendary great fighter, too. Mike, do you still have these overalls? You should bring them back out. I was thinking that too. I like these overalls. They're pretty awesome. I couldn't find them. I probably couldn't fit them. How did Mike Tyson get such a powerful punch? Okay, I think I was born that way, but I developed it through custom models telling me repetitiously over and over again to do this movement and to punch with this type of bad intentions and just that ferociousness and mean intentions whenever you throw your punches and stuff and try to punch through your opponent and not at him and all the really nasty things that I would never tell my kids to do. Who went in a street fight between Mike Tyson and his prime and Floyd Mayweather? I think I would really kick Floyd's ass in the street fight. It wouldn't even be no match, but Probably if I was his size in the ring, he would outpoint me, yeah. He has a really good technique for his style. Yeah, he's really great at what he does. More IMDB. All right, what's the thing? All right, what's that, three million? Would you make that a recommendation? Um, could.
could have. I don't know. Yeah, I did. I think I did. You're right. I think I was broke at WrestleMania. I needed some money. I think that was a big thing that we made a lot of money. Yeah, you took a lot of money to pay bills, so you didn't really receive much of it. What was Mike Tyson diet? My diet pretty much is, um, I don't eat anything that has a mother and father. If you were created through a mother and father, through any kind of intercourse, I wouldn't eat you. So that means I only eat vegetables and stuff. When I was fighting, I ate a steak, some vegetables, and right before an hour or so before the fight, I would have a chocolate bar and orange juice. Just to get a quick sugar rush before I go in the ring. All right, what is Mike Tyson's peekaboo style? See, a peekaboo style is a style I learned from Custom Model when I started fighting at 13 years old, I believe. Your hands up high, your gloves up high, your elbows close to your ribs to protect your ribs, and your fists close to your jaw to protect your jaw underneath your cheeks, not above your cheeks so you won't uh, deter your vision, so underneath your cheeks. Everyone has their own style, but for me, that was most um, practical for me because I was a short box, I wasn't tall, I had short arms, so it was very difficult for me to get to my opponent, so I had to use the people's style in order to be very aggressive but still be elusive in order not to get hit as order to come in and attack my opponent. And more Twitter. So does Mike Tyson really not like fighting, and is he a real hobby racing pitch? Yes, I don't like fighting anymore. I'm not a violent person to that degree. My only reason I'd probably be violent if you harass my children or my wife. Other than that, I, I wouldn't do nothing. Yes, I've been racing, not racing pigeons, but I've been a pigeon fancy. I'm flying pigeons since I was nine years old. Oh, this top pedigree stuff right here. <laughs> you give them the fees, you water too. Yeah, everything. But really, Mike, still living like this, he's supposed to be broke. I don't know what happened. They're absolutely right. People are right. There's no reason I should be living like this. But the reason why I'm living like this is because I have an awesome wife and she was in my corner. And I don't know how we did it. We managed to come out of $60 million worth of debt, something to that degree. Kiki's my wife. Kiki's my best friend. Kiki's my psychiatrist. Kiki's just the bomb. We're having an awesome life together with our awesome kids. I would never have the relationship with all my kids the way I have now if I didn't have my wife. Does Mike Tyson really have a pet tiger? Well, at one time, I did have a pet tiger. Her name was Kenya, and she was around um, 550 pounds. I had a great affection with her. I kept her. I slept with her. I kept her in my room. She stayed with me. I had her for probably 16 years. She was a massive monster. You, you can't imagine the size of her. She got too old, and I had to get rid of her eyes, and her hip got fat. And plus, she ripped somebody's arm off. Hey, that's me, and I'm signing the fuck off the internet. <laughs>